But but when Jesus comes, you guys will take him seriously, won't you? Oh yeah, for sure, man. For sure, for sure. Okay, brother. Alright, buddy. Peace. When you drink alcohol, you you lessen the security system to the point where viruses are gonna get through or demons or you know bad spirits you know they take a joy ride in your body for the night and then you know you wake up the next morning either can't remember what happened or you you remember parts of it but you, you don't remember doing certain things god says thou shall not kill right is that only referring to killing man i think that's referring to everything right so in order for people to eat meat what has to happen Somebody's got to kill an animal. Yeah. Well, but right? that's the thing. But, but now you so have to know in your heart. There's that, just so much stuff. There's, there's just so much stuff in the world, even too, to to make you disbelieve. Yes. They, to, to, they to, want to discredit to, the Bible. To, 100%. To, to, yeah, well, they want to discredit a lot of things, and they want to erase a lot of things. And and it, it's funny how the human, the human mind always it's it it, it, it as it travels through its experience, it will always hit that road. Yeah. It'll hit that road. It'll hit that road of why and, and how, you know, and 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 it, it's a kind of like a, it's a very the spiritual is, experience. Yeah. The problem is, is that when we ask questions about why this happens or how this happens, we we get fourteen different answers from scientific officials. Right? What do you think about that? Oh, what in the Bible when they talk about the Jacob's ladder? So. Uh, in the Bible, uh, Jacob's Ladder, uh, most people refer to as the stairway to heaven. Right? To me, the the stairway to heaven is a representation of your spinal column. Because Jesus died at the age of 33. He, uh, there's 33 steps in the ladder, in Jacob's Ladder. And there's also 33 vertebrae in your spine. And uh, if you look at uh, human biology, there is uh, an oil that sits at the base of your spinal column that when you sit and meditate and do proper breathing, you can actually cause it to shoot up your spine, go through your hypothalamus and into your pineal gland, right? That's the ascension to heaven, so to speak, right? And let's talk about the, what about the frequencies and the bad frequencies, good frequencies. I just seen a video the other day of um, this person ripped up a plant like this. <laughs> they just ripped up the plant, and then they cut the tip of it. And they still had it in their hand under the, like some kind of microscope, and still to that that piece that was missing was yeah. still vibrating and all the yes. stuff, the energy and stuff like that. So um, what I wanted to talk about is the, all the stuff that's going on on TV. Um, all the all the music that kids are listening to, uh, all that rap, not with some rap music, the drill. I would say the drill, all that 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 weird. Well, what's happening right now with so, the children? So to me, uh, so back in the early uh, 1930s to 1960s, right? Uh, anything that was displayed to you, audio based, like through the TV or the radio or or. Well, they didn't have computers way back then, but when they did come out with them, anything that you heard audio that came from a speaker or s something like a speaker. Could be manipulated. Yes, it could just be uh, an antenna that's giving off a, a frequency you can't hear, right? Because there's, we could, with our ears, we can only hear part of the sound spectrum. With our eyes, we can only see part of the light spectrum. Well, what about when you're in nature and just everything's going on around you and all the real sound, the real frequency that you need? So there's a healing frequency and then there's bad frequencies, right? So like for instance, uh, plastic that's made from plants, right, is uh, vibrates on uh, 15 hertz, right? Now the, the frequency of a dead body is also 15 hertz. So, uh, you know, when you go around wearing, you know, stuff made out of polyester, which is plastic, you know, Stick the cotton, people. You're, you're vibrating at a. What was the combination thing you said something about frequency. with the Egyptians? Was it cotton. Uh, cotton vibrates at five thousand. And, and then and, wool, wool, and, right? No linen. 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 Linen is also high frequency, five thousand hertz. 
Nice. But never wear them together because they cancel each other out. Whoa. Yes. Either wear cotton or wear linen. So you don't wear one cotton or the other. and linen. One or the other. Yes. Because they're both the same hertz, and when you have two of the same frequency, they cancel each other out. Wow. Or they resonate and make a higher frequency. We used to display everything to everybody at the hertz of 528 hertz, right? Now we give it to them at, I think, four or something, right? Which is very annoying. It's kind of like when you're listening to the radio and everything sounds nice, you feel good, you're bumping with the music, right? And then all of a sudden you get too far away from the radio station, you get that static, and then you start feeling sick, you get annoyed. Right? And then you turn it off because you can't stand the sound. That's because it's a bad frequency. It, it's crazy, you know, now that you just said about the sickness, it's just that I was taught when I was when I was interviewing Roscoe the other day, um, of, of the different pills and the different combination of things that just makes you sick. Plus on top of food, plus on top of the bad frequencies. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's they, amazing. And at the same they time... They cut you off spiritually. And remember, guys, yeah, that, this is a fact right here. They don't want you to die. They want you to be cut off from the Supreme Maker. Right, and even me making these YouTube videos, okay? I only get, like, so much bandwidth. They're almost limiting me to put out videos as fast as they, the way that I want to put just out. Just like electricity, people. Just, they just want... It's all in the air around us, and... You know, Nikola Tesla proved that, and speaking, you know, he dies, and all the the big business people take over, and next thing you know, we're paying for electricity that we could literally be taken out of the atmosphere. Speaking of the air, what about the chemtrails? What what do you think they're doing to to everything? Oh, they're spraying aluminum oxide in the air to basically. They say that they're trying to prevent hail storms, but I haven't seen one instance where them spraying has stopped the hailstorm if you were to look at like i think it's alberta or calgary they, they got they were said they were spraying up there and they got pummeled like all the crops are done like baseball size hail right what i believe they're doing is they're spraying aluminum oxide in the air to kill all the the food making plants or to get heavy metals into your body because heavy metals cause you know behavioral disorders in kids and you know, it just makes you go to the doctor a whole lot more. And like I told you the you last I mean? time, I you're not going to be able to grow your own food because you know the plants are gonna are gonna die because of the aluminum oxide eventually, right? And then they're gonna only have their seeds that don't that will grow with the aluminum oxide because they genetically altered them to grow with them. So, like I said last time that I was over here, just any time that it rains, just at the the the. I guess this, the particles and stuff calm down and it just it makes me feel all, all weird. It's not that I'm not... All, all I gotta say is look at your driveways and your and your roads when it rains people and look at that purple rainbow-like color that's all over the place. Right? When water hits the ground, it does not reflect and make all those colors. You know what does do that? Yeah, yeah, it's something like it's like a, looking yeah, at like there, there's oil, spray, a little there's spray little pond stuff up there. Yeah, and then yeah. when the rain comes down, it's all in it, and then you have all this like this hue of purple and red and, and green and almost like a rainbow all over the ground, right? <laughs> but it's it's not as nice as a rainbow, you know? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Let's not talk about the rainbow. Man. Don't even get me started on the friggin' round ball they want to call her. Yeah, so another thing. Is the earth, people, round or flat? You know, some people think it's round. It's flat, my friends. But it's flat as a pancake. <laughs> Figure it out yourself, okay? All, all, right, all I gotta say is that if, if that, that sun is 93 million light years or whatever they want to call it away from us, right? And, and if you were to take off your helmet in space you'd, free, you'd, <laughs> you'd, you'd instantly freeze you know <laughs> helmet in space. Then, then how is all this heat getting to us <laughs> that's what I would like to know most scientists will tell you oh it's because energy energy travels right like some some bullshit remarks about energy but uh, yeah no it's 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 about 
In my opinion, it's about 48,000 feet in the air. Right? <laughs> when you fly, if, when you fly in a plane. Guys, we got fans out this. We, we got fans. We got fans. We got fans. We got lots, fans. lots of fans. Hold on, see what get you, yourself a Dyson. Get yourself a Dyson. <laughs> Clean that up real quick, okay? Bladeless. Bladeless and and, <laughs> and, and and smellless. I mean orderless. Sorry, that's how they call it in commercial. Right? Yeah. Order, order, orderless. 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 Uh, <laughs> there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about here. Hold on a second. I'm kind of forgetting. Uh, tell me about the Egyptians, man. What do you think about the Egyptians? Oh, the, the, the Egyptians, here we go. So, what do you uh, think about the Egyptians? I believe that, so, I believe there's other places just like our, you know, environment, you know, flat earth with the firmament, you know, God sitting above it, right? I believe there's other lands beyond our lands. I don't believe there's other planets, just because something is round. Does but there's a lot of stars, so, the, but there's a lot of stars, there's a lot of stars. Yes. There's a lot of stars, even stars beyond stars that we that we don't even know. Wrong. Wrong? Wrong. Hit it. The stars that are up there have always been up there. Oh no, yeah. The time. Oh yeah, for sure. They've never changed. Stars do not die. Our sun is not going to explode one day. No. Not that crap. What the stars are, they were placed upon the firmament by God. That's it. Everything was meant to be. The North Star wouldn't be called the North. How how is it the North Star, right? How do we know what's north when when we're we're flying around the sun like this, flying through space? Going back to the flat what's, Earth. What's north? Going back to the flat Earth. What is it? At and and Atl Atlantica, Atlantica. Oh, oh uh, Antarctica. Atl oh yeah. Antarctica. Why on the map you go on Google Maps and all that? You go they're on Google right now. Why? Why is it all blanked out in black? Tell me, people. Why is it all bl like this? Like just like the screen right here. It's a square. You know? Why is it blanked out? So what? We just stop? There's no. There's nothing past that. You're telling me there's nothing past that. We can't just keep going. Oh really? Okay. That's a good one. Government, you guys are keeping it very nice, you know. Build the nine science guy, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what's funny? <laughs> you know what's funny? They they they've gotten away with it for like sixty years. <laughs> sixty, probably more, more no, than that. No, no, listen. So, like, in in my opinion, in the early 1930s was when they started this sh this shit, right? I believe the Tartarian mud flood. Don't even get me started on that, right? And then they started slowly bringing people back into society in the way that they wanted to. So they, they pretty much sculpted the 1930s people, right? Then they started realizing about frequency and they started altering the frequency. And now you have what we have today, you know, a bunch of dummies walking around. <laughs> Nobody knows what the word work means anymore, right? But I totally understand it because, you know, but your rent is supposed to be uh, like, your. My my rent is three times what I make. That's the difference, okay? But the, the, the old people, like our parents and stuff, you know, respect them. But at the end of the day, they, they got duped. Not their they fault. got duped, yeah. They got duped, duped hard. They, they got duped, duped hard. hard. Even, even still, my, even right? still but, my, but my, my folk, you know what I'm saying? They still want to keep working hard, keep going. It's still to this day. But what we do have on our side, my friend, is that we are the many. They are the few. We just got to remember that. Right? It's not about us attacking them, don't take me the wrong way, you know, I'm not about, you know, inciting crap. All I'm trying to say is that we can do better by ourselves than, than letting some sort of government provide us with our food, provide us with our water, provide us with our electricity. You know, I'm pretty sure that we're smart enough nowadays as human beings to, you know, be able to create that stuff on our own. If you would think. Time, right? Well, you know, but sometimes, man, you go. Science. But listen, man, yeah, that, I mean, Mr. You noodles, that Mr. Noodles, you know, you the the you crispy, that Mr. Noodles, the Rice Krispies, at Home Depot, that the Mr. Noodles, the Rice Krispie squares, right. the, the, the tree, cereal, goddamn trees. People got shit so fucked up in the neighborhood, brother. You know what I mean? They're they they they're confused as hell, man. They don't even they, they don't even know like this. They'll come up to that tree, and they'll ask you what is on there. At Earth in the 1930s, people, yeah, we're only round for the last hundred years. The last 4,500 years, it's like been flat. Just like some of your corporations. We're the only around. civilization in history 
to believe the earth, the earth is round without no physical proof. And don't tell me those NASA photos, that's not proof. Okay, it says an image. Learn your English, learn what words mean. Image is something that has been altered. Okay, a break that down. A picture is something that's real. So you take a picture of something, put it on there, you see it. An image is something I took a picture of and then I photoshopped or I put a bunch of daily thing. It's not the actual real life photo or picture of that. Can you break down some of the words like history, his story? Oh yeah, history is his story. They they delete a lot, a lot of a lot of history, right? So they they uh, burnt down the the or sorry the the library of Alexandria, magically burnt down, Magic. right? Way back in the day, right? Which held you know ninety percent of Rome's intellect and knowledge and how the world worked, right? That way they could keep that information to themselves and it wasn't you know public information. Vatican, right? Then they wrote out censorship, which is now like, okay, well, here's all the information that's true, but this is what I want you to know, and this is a bunch of other blub that's going to contradict all of this other stuff that I told you, right. which is going to make you crazy because then we're going to have people arguing over stuff, which is going to be great for the government, Heavy. right? Heavy. Because whether you choose liberal or conservative or NDP or Green Party, at the end of the day, they all the same. They're all shaking hands in behind the room. Jerking saying off. Saying that, there. oh, this is what we're going to get done. <laughs> but we're all going to argue in the house Circle of jerk. Cons, right? <laughs> like, like, not to be, like, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, but like, No, you it's know, the truth, man. The, in my opinion, it's the truth. Jugby the truth Singh hurts. was put in there as a puppet to, to make the oh, newcomers feel, like, 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 yeah. like he's, like, they have a, they have a choice in this country, even right? But they, even you talk to all of them, they all realize that, you know, they came over here with promises being made, and none of those promises are being made. And now either one, they go back home and they're, you know, they're stuck in the situation they are there, or they're stuck here and they can't go back home because they got, they don't know what to do, and they're stuck in the same loop that all of us are stuck in over here. Yeah, so that's another funny thing about right. just everybody getting let into this country and stuff like that, just to get shysted. Can Canada duped a lot of a lot of foreign people. They We've come been over out here with the life of you know you're going to be able to work hard and have a home and you know provide for your family, and they've come over here and spent all their money that they saved to try and make a life, and now they're worse off than what they would have been if they just stayed where they were. It's true, and right? right? And then and Justin Trudeau just says. We're working on it, or we're, we're thinking about building homes, but you know, we haven't actually put a contract down in two years to build any, but we're just going to keep letting more people in, you know, not enough room for people to live, you know, one of the biggest countries in the world, other than Russia, you know, we got a lot of land mass up here, just saying, right, like besides the green belt, we don't even have to touch the green belt, people just got to spread out, right, but no, you know, we're going to stack them on top of each other in condo buildings building up the cities, keep people in the cities, right, so they can keep those lavish paradise areas for themselves because nobody else will be able to afford them. Just to wrap up before we hear folks, you know what I mean, let's just talk about Jesus Christ. What would Jesus Christ want us to do? Jesus? Jesus would want us all to live in harmony. He would want us to grow for food for our fellow man, you know, our fellow family, you know, take care of the unfed children of Jesus. You know what I mean? But... The people, the the people who control everything, they they've kept it to this point where you know you you can't if, if you give to others, you go with them. <laughs> wow, wow, right? Wow. So, well, in, wow. in in the act of trying to help Jesus's unfed children, your own children don't get to how. And that's not the way to go about it, folks you know out I mean? there, you know what I mean? I got, I got UNICEF coming around. I feel bad when I tell them I can't give them any money. You know what I mean? They're like, oh, it's only a dollar a month. Yeah, a dollar a month that... I don't have. I can't even pay because for stuff Because my job my doesn't pay me enough. 26 bucks an hour, and I can't even afford to rent a place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's astounding. It's, a, it's astounding. It's I had my own house. I had three cars at one point, and then... The economy went to shit and Justin Trudeau just kept helping it.
And why would you guys do that? Why would you guys do that to the folk, you know? And, and, and why is it when we're starving over here and we can't have houses over here and stuff that this guy wants to go hand $20 million of our hard taxpayer, hard work money to places like Israel, who, sorry, has, you know, is one of the richest countries in the world. You know, no other country has their Iron Dome. Peace for all the Palestine people. All the children got killed, all the beautiful people, for no reason. No reason. For how, what? How, how you send people to Rafah and then bomb the crap out of them and then say that you're going after Hamas. You're like, going to kill like kids, man? You didn't man? know that there was going to be You kidding me? That's Are you kidding me? Man, you got... Man. Insane. Anyway, just to wrap it up here. Um, what do you think that if Jesus was alive today or even Tupac was alive today, well, what would he be saying to the people? To be honest, it's... Because, remember, a lot of people got killed for, for, for basically expressing... To be honest, if, if I was Jesus, I wouldn't want to come down here. <laughs> me neither. To be honest. Me neither. Me neither. That's a good one. Because... That's a good one. That's, the, that's the deep. Peop, the, if you try to bring up the topic of Jesus to people... They just ignore every, you. Everybody's got their own image of him. Like, since when does Jesus have 8 billion different images? Oh, so speaking of that, that sculpture stuff, yeah, that's no good, right? You know? yeah. We could be sitting here arguing the same damn points to each other about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shouldn't happen. No, 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 no. It's not. Right? It's not. That, but, that's people, not but people do. Right? You can't. You can't talk about religion anymore. Guess what's gonna happen? The people down here, if if not, you know, so blatantly, you know, like you know, he was crucified, you know, but not so far to that aspect because we're not in the Roman days. You get what I'm saying? But he would get ridiculed down here. People people would be like, Oh, you don't know what you're talking about. I don't believe you, this and that, blah, 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 blah. Right? Just like in his day. Nobody believed him until he proved himself. Until he showed them. Right? But by then it was too late. Right? A lot of people, the, the flock and flood game, all that other stuff, right? Yeah, but it's, it's funny how there's just two just in general, like... A lot of people who are good people. He tried to save the earth. He tried to get them all to change. They didn't want to change. What happened? Got flood the earth and started again. So now, do you think that's going to happen again? Oh, a hundred percent. Why? Think it's you want to know really why? Happening. You want to know why? Because it's happened over and over and over again. This ain't the first time. This won't be the last. Right? Because humans don't want to change. You know how Satan, Satan fell from heaven, or the devil, so they say, fell from heaven. He was a fallen angel. Well, what caused him to be a fallen angel? questioned God's authority. He questioned whether God was all-powerful. Right? What does everybody do down here? They don't believe he's all-powerful. Most of them don't even believe they, he exists. Right? Let alone know. I know there's somebody out there. There's no way that this, the way that everything is designed, that there wasn't an intelligent mind behind it. You know what's crazy? You try that? making something, it'll come out stupid. Right? So, if God was able to create us, something had to create us. We didn't come out of a out of an ambiotic fluid or some lightning struck a puddle. You know what's crazy, my brother? No matter how much I do bad, no matter how much I sin, I cannot keep thinking of God, Jesus, and uh, I'm doing wrong, and I should improve myself, I should be a better person, you know, I should do better things. Um, I should improve in the way that I that the way that I treat everybody and, and you know um, it, to be honest for me it's mostly been with the humans it's mostly been with the human I've never like I've been like a kind of like a Buddhist where like Jesus I don't step on ants you know I try like, don't get me I try, wrong you know? Jesus isn't trying to say that you have to be perfect no, there is no you know perfect. I mean? There is no perfect. What all he's trying to say is that this is the light I want you to live in. Live in that light as good as possible. You were born into sin, so to sit there and say that you're not going to sin is, is redundant. You're gonna, we're gonna sin while we're down, right? But there's a difference between the brain and the heart, right? The, the brain sends signals to the heart. So like, for instance, like when, if... And also to the gut. If you're like, oh, I shouldn't step on bad ants, but you do it anyway, right? Just to say that and be like, oh, you know, I shouldn't really do that anymore, right? But you keep doing it, your mind knows that it's wrong. It's a sin, so to speak, right? 
and your heart knows it's a sin, right? But your brain's telling you it's okay. That's where where Jesus is saying that, like, if 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 your if your brain says to step on the ant, your heart should say no. If you step on the ant anyways, then your your heart's not in the right place. You get what I'm saying? So you can sin as long as your heart realizes, you know, okay, this is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. You know, you know when something's wrong when you shouldn't be doing something. You know, when someone shoots an animal, right? And, and to I, to feel good about that, you're demonized. Can I ask you a question? That's sinful. Just to think about that. Do you think that animals? We connect with animals. We speak to animals. We talk. We can talk to animals. The law. Certain way. The law of one. Okay? The law Every, of one. Everything is made up of one thing: atoms, molecules, right? All of those which are atoms, right? And and uh, right. atoms are made out of molecules. Everything's made out. Of, fuck me up now. Stay out of here. It's okay. And peace, folks. <laughs> But and this is the cannabis plant, by the way, folks. Beautiful, you know. This guy right here, I knew how to grow weed my whole life. But he just put the extra spice to my knowledge, to be really honest with you, folks. Number one ingredient, you got to give them love. Love is the ultimate drug, you gotta give them love. people.